So in the midst of the current news about coronavirus that we hear, we want to take this opportunity to get the university community, the staff and students of KNUST to be aware and to sensitize them about the virus. Coronavirus, is, it presents like just any other virus that causes what we call normal flu. So you could have a fever, you could have a cough, you could also develop into a pneumonia. And normally the main presentation is a fever and a cough. And if complications arise, you could get into a bad pneumonia, which would cause you to have respiratory problems. And that is what would cause you to die. And most of the cases that have died so far actually died of respiratory distress. So you can see the extent of spread. It's actually going almost everywhere. And here in Africa, we're actually exempted. And we hope that we will not have to face that situation. Preventive measures, basically, first of all, I would say is just basic hygiene, like clean hands, cough etiquettes. When you want to cough, you try and close your mouth and your nose so that you don't spread the droplets. Do not touch your face and your nose with your contaminated hands. Wash your hands as frequently as possible. And if you don't have that facility of running water, then you should possibly be using alcohol sanitizers because that has been found to kill the spread of the virus. So that is one way. And then obviously you should avoid close contact with people who are found to be sick. You should avoid travels to those affected areas because we don't know the real mode of transmission so far. I mean, if you have the facilities of wearing um, face masks, then you should have the correct way of wearing the face mask and then getting them removed the right way because they all come with the risk of transmitting infections. If you don't remove it well, there's also a fear of transmission. So within the investing community, obviously we, we have uh, circulated emergency call numbers of the hospital, so you can call those lines. And then also you can always walk into the hospital because they're 24 hour service. And then we have the ER that is functioning um, all the time. So I think the general message would really be not to panic because uh, we have not had any cases in, in Ghana so far and even in Africa. For the investing community, of course, don't panic. And then if there is any suspicion of any such infection that you feel that's around you, um, you, you report to the healthcare practitioner as early as possible.